interesting. Pleasant and very aggressive morning to you as well, detective. Um, I just have one question. It, it's silly, really. Uh, yeah, why do you have a gun pointed to my head? If this is your love language, then I have no qualms, but quite frankly, I am not normally in a frisky mood so early in the morning. Okay, not the face, not the face. Okay, I understand. I understand the assignment. I understand. Okay. Again, if I may ask nicely, why do you have a gun pointed in between my eyebrows, darling? Okay, strong and silent type. I like it. I like it. This is good. I'm learning more about you, and hopefully you will get to learn more about me. Uh, but you see, I'm... I would very much appreciate an explanation, though if you're not in an explaining mood, I respect that, I understand that, and we can work our way into um, better forms of communication in the future. <laughs> uh, shoot me then. Shoot me. Hmm? Come on. What are you waiting for? Pull the trigger. Oh, do you not have the gusto to pull the trigger, detective? You've already made it this far. All you have to do is to pull that trigger. Oh, but that would be too easy, wouldn't it? You'd just be setting off a nasty chain of events, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, you poor, poor detective. You had the upper hand, yet you couldn't lay down the law. At least not yet, right? You had me pinned down and everything. You know you're really giving me mixed signals here, darling. <laughs> well, it's my turn. <clears throat> That's mine. Thank you very much. Now, ooh, look how the tables have turned, detective. Okay, let's make sure that this is locked and loaded. Chiching. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, have you not learned your lesson? I don't understand. Oh, 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 don't make any sudden movements, darling. You're really gonna spook me, and we don't want to find ourselves in a uncomfortable situation now, do we? Good. Now get off me. Give me your hands. Both of them. Give me your hands. God. <laughs> now it's your turn. Oh, what's the matter? It's not as fun when you're the one being pinned down. Mm hmm? Surely you must enjoy it when you have such a beautiful, beautiful view. A barrel pointed right down your face. <laughs> you know I know that you can't end it right now. Even though we both know just how much you want to. Hmm? You could have just shot me, and all your problems would have gone away. But you don't have orders to pull the trigger, do you? And even if you did, it certainly wouldn't be helpful if I just up and kicked the bucket. 
The moment someone notices that I'm gone, or heavens forbid, what, six feet under, everything you know will come crashing down. You, your family, Lieutenant Jeffords, his family. Hmm, you wouldn't put Lieutenant Jeffords' poor little daughter in danger now, would you? Hmm? Poor little Lacey? <laughs> oh no, we wouldn't want that. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is way too fun. <sighs> okay. Well, we're back to you, good old friend. Well, I did not think I'd have to pull the trusty old handcuffs out so soon, but seeing as our pretty detective has a penchant for being truly, truly feisty, you left me with no choice. Hey, at least I'm uh, cuffing you to the bedpost this time. Surely that's an improvement in your eyes. No? Uh, well... <sighs> Hold still, darling. There's no point in resisting. It'll only take a second and boom! Darkness. Yeah? How about it? You're gonna get the hero's ending that you so desperately wanted. <laughs> oh, why struggle now? I thought you didn't want to play along with my little facade, detective. I tried giving you as many outs as I could, and how is it that I am repaid? With a threat and a heart-wrenching betrayal. <laughs> it's alright, darling. It'll be over soon. I really, really took a liking to you. But it's clear that I have more convenient options. So, it's time to say au revoir. Bye bye. Bang. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you should have. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, detective. You should have seen the look on your face. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe you actually fell for that. Oh my goodness. That was flawless. That was flawless. Oh my gosh, we have to do that again. That was beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you really think I would have a real gun in my drawers? Right there in my drawers, conveniently there for you to pick up in the morning and shoot me with. Oh, oh come on, darling. You really didn't think I'd hurt you, did you? <gasps> I can't believe you just said that. Now, I don't know what I did to you, but I am not in the pain business. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was just so painfully funny. I am truly... Truly, sorry. <clears throat> Whew, okay, we're fine. We're fine. It's really not that funny. <sighs> well, now that that's out of the way, out of our system, yes, we have a lot of catching up to do. As I said, uh, we have until the end of the week, so uh, tomorrow, to, for the lack of a better word, fool my father into thinking that we're just an oh-so-lovey-dovey couple. Okay? And then remember, 
After that, you are free to go, running off into the sunset. No questions asked. Well, I don't entirely care whether you believe me or not. Okay, we are up to speed. I will go outside the room. Greg will promptly uncuff you, bring you a change of clothes, and we'll meet by the gardens and have a nice cup of tea. Is that understood? Is that understood? Good. All right. When you're done changing, hang a right, go straight down the hallway, then go left, and you should see a very beautiful garden. Okay? Bright as day. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, ta-ta. Uh. Hey, 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 Greg! No talking to my darling. We talked about this. I can hear you, you know? Don't make me go in there. <sighs> Greg, you know we talked about this. Beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> Anywho, come, sit. Now, I would ask you what kind of tea you would like normally, uh, but I don't particularly feel like asking, so we'll be sipping on some... Earl Grey. Would that be okay? Good. <sighs> Greg? Could you be a dear and make us some Earl Grey tea, please? Thank you. <sighs> Oh, don't worry about Greg. He's, um... It's fine. Don't worry. All right, um, back to the topic at hand. I realized the first time we talked that I didn't exactly give you all the chances in the world to speak your mind, I suppose. So, if you have any hesitations, any doubts or apprehensions about this whole operation, then now would be the time to let me know. Mm-hmm. The floor is yours. Hmm. I guess what exactly do you not agree with with what I'm asking you to do? Ah, yes. Forcing would probably be the better term. Yes, I agree. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Right. Ah, Greg, thank you. How very prompt of you. Um, please serve our dear guest first. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sorry, please continue. Mm hmm Right. Thank you, Greg. You may leave. You were saying? Mm-hmm. Yes. 
Okay, and I perfectly understand that. I'll definitely bring that up with my boss. Now, moving on to more pressing matters. Um, as you may remember, we will be having a dinner with my father tomorrow. Now, if you were holding a gun to my head, funny thought, right? And I had to describe him in two words, I would say, hmm, temperamental and a bit psychotic. When he enters the room, the room is his. When he leaves the room, the room is empty. Are you catching my drift? Good. There is no room for error when you're talking to him, and seeing as making a mistake in this grandiose plan of ours would mean being mm, unalived. We have many a things to go over. All right? Okay. So again, even if your life depends on it, I will not be repeating myself. Okay? I will not be repeating myself. <sighs> now take a sip of your tea and laugh. <laughs> of course, yes, of course. <laughs> You will play as my romantic partner of five, no, six months. Half a year makes more sense. We met while I was on vacation in Bali nine months ago. We, independent of each other, both went for a motorcycle trip and just happened to get to know each other. It was awkward and abrasive at first, but we warmed up to each other not long after the trip, which lasted for three days, ending on a Tuesday. I am choosing this place and date because I did in fact go there for a business trip nine months ago. I can't imagine why my father wouldn't believe me, so it's crucial that you remember these details before the dinner tomorrow. After realizing that you yourself were part of an underground mafia... No, 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 no. That you were a teacher, I was... enamored. Then, we both, again, warmed up to each other enough to... keep in touch. At which point, roughly three months later, I asked you to be my partner. We had a long conversation, I told you who I was, and you told me you didn't care. You said yes. I popped the question when we had dinner at Alpine. The restaurant. Okay, you don't need to bother too much with the details during the relationship, okay? It's only before that he really, really cares about. All right, it's the chase, not the destination. In saying that, pop quiz time. What was the name of the restaurant where I asked you to be my partner? Hmm? Oh, I'm not moving until you answer. Okay, good. And how long had we known each other at that point? Mm-hmm. Okay, what were we doing when we met? And what day did the trip end on? How long did the trip last? So what day did it start? Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday? How long have we known each other? How long have we been together? 
Four months? Five months? Surely you must know at least that. How wouldn't it be weird if we were dating for that amount of time yet you did not know how long we had known each other, how long we had been together? Nothing. What were you doing before we met? Were you a teacher, a dog trainer, a detective, perhaps? What? What were you doing? How long was I supposed to be on vacation for? Four days, five days, six, seven days, three months, four months? What? At least tell me that much. Bang. Eh eh. You just got yourself shot. I never told you how long I was supposed to be on vacation for. So don't go making up things you don't know the answer to. Your best bet is to be aloof and say you don't know. You can look at me lovingly if that's what you fancy. We were supposed to have more time to prepare, but tracking you down was um, a little tedious, to say the least. I guess I underestimated how long it would take to find you. If only you knew how much I wish I didn't have to involve you. If only you knew. But you got yourself involved. My men have seen you. And if I had chosen to let you go that day. If I chose to let you go. You would not be here right now. And that goes for everyone you love. But I hope you know that this is an out for you, your exit. If you choose to play along, if, if you choose to play along for a week after the dinner, we could stage some sort of breakup, call it right person, wrong time, whatever. And my father would let you go without much thought. Do you not see that? If my father finds out who you are and whatever kind of chicanery we have been pulling here, there will be no end to this. For you or for me. I'm not the one who chose to be an undercover detective. And I'm certainly not the one who stuck my nose in other people's business. We have to play with the hand that we've been dealt. And it just so happened that we are the cards that each other needs right now. To get out of this mess. So you're either in or you're out. And trust me, darling, you need me more than I need you. Smile. I said smile, please. Now lean back and drink your tea.
apologize. For dragging you into this mess. I realize that this plan requires many moving parts. And if one, even just one, cog messes up in this whole system, kaput. It'll all be for nothing. And nothing will change. Detective, tell me, why did you choose this line of work? Was it simply an interest of yours, or, or perhaps you had your own sense of justice? I see. Do you enjoy it? Putting bad people like me behind bars. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> Naturally. Can detectives bend the law to get what they want? What they need? I guess what I'm asking is... Are you above the law? I see. But who decides on what's right and what's wrong? I understand why murder will always be wrong. There's nothing that can be answered by removing a person from this world. No? But what about petty theft? What about a little boy who steals bread for his sick mother? What then? Would the police still put that boy behind bars? Would you put that little boy behind bars? That's what I thought. But what if the little boy stole from a sick grandmother? Would you imprison him then? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm... I apologize for... for all the questions. <laughs> I must have a... lot on my mind. If you don't mind. <sighs> Quite frankly, I wouldn't know what I would do if if I was in your situation. How you're not panicking and 
Finding the nearest exit is beyond me. But I respect that. Detective. Do you have people you love? Are they the reason you're still fighting? Hmm. Would you do anything for them? I see. I had people like those too. <laughs> My apologies for speaking in riddles so often. <sighs> Do you see this flower? This white one. This was my mother's favorite flower. I remember she would go out at night just to see the petals change color. Even though she wasn't allowed to. <laughs> One night she came up to my room, knocked softly on my door. I opened it and I was, I was shocked. She was supposed to be in bed. But she had this warm smile to her face. One that I hadn't seen in, in years. She told me to come closer. And she just asked me, Do you want to watch the flowers with me? Naturally, I didn't understand what she meant. But I went anyway. It was a beautiful night. Beautiful crescent moon. And there was a soft blue over her skin. And we just sat there, dipping our toes in the water. And I wanted to say something, but I couldn't. I couldn't. And then I looked at her and she was just smiling back. And I was content with not saying anything that night. And so we watched the flowers bloom at night in the White petals would turn to pink. That flower, this flower. It was the only thing she looked forward to. So she would kill me if I did this. Sorry, Mother. Take the flower. Take it. I already picked it. Would you rather I just threw it away? Good. Good. 
This is my promise to you. I promise that I will get you back safely. And you promise to me that when you do get back, that you'll give that flower to the people you fight for. Is that understood? Good. 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 Detective. We have a long day tomorrow. Get some rest. Good night. Detective. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm afraid. I'm nothing but a coward. They're preparing. My father should be here any minute now. We have to prepare. Would you mind if I told you something crazy? Something that I can't imagine you would ever believe. What's the hurt, right? Okay. All right. Detective. It's true that I want to take over this mafia ring after my father. It's true. It is abundantly true. He's talked about giving me or, or my brother the reins for quite some time now. So I figured this was my best opportunity. But I'm not taking over for the reason you think. I'm not. You're sharp. You must know that there's something up. I don't want to be in the Mafia anymore. But I carry the sins of my past. My father. He's not normal. He's proud of those sins. I don't want any more people to die. So I'm taking down the Mafia myself. He's here. Are you ready, detective? <sighs> I should have told you sooner. I apologize for not trusting you. But there's no more time. Father, welcome back. Hello, son. It's been a while. <laughs>